In this video we will explore data tables in NLN and if it's a Google Sheets killer or not. First we will check the strengths and weaknesses of it, then when to use it and when not to use it. And last but not least we will clarify the question if it's a Google Sheets killer or not. The biggest plus point that's easy to use It's because it's directly integrated in NLN and you don't need any authentication tokens or any API calls. When you are inside your NLN you can click here data tables. Here are all data tables that you created. To create a new data table you select here create data table and give it a name like country codes and click create here. And now we got our data table already. Let's give it a column like country and a second column country code. Let's add a row by clicking here add row United States US Germany DE and so on. Now when we go to our workflows and create a new workflow Let's take as first step uh, manual trigger. Now let's add data tables by clicking here, then select core and then data table. Let's get the rows. You might notice we don't need any API keys or anything. We can directly select our table from a drop down menu here. For example, the country codes we just created. And now when I click execute step, we received our country codes from the table. So it's super easy to set up like you can see. The next big plus point is the speed. It's much faster than Google Sheets. By the way, make sure to stick until the end because the weaknesses are crucial to know, especially the last one. But let's first do a speed comparison. For that, we do the same in Google Sheets and an end, end data table. We will do a simple task. We will fill out the table from one to 500. For that, I click here, execute workflow. And now you can see the numbers are added one by one into this data table. Once it's finished, we will check how long it took. I will now speed up the recording. And now it finally finished. Let's see how long it took. It took 647 seconds. So it took around 11 minutes. By the way, if you're wondering how I calculated it, at the beginning here, I took a timestamp. And at the end here, I took a timestamp. And then I calculated the time in between. Now let's do the exact same thing in NLN data tables. For that, I connect this manual trigger with this node and click Execute Workflow. And like you can see, it's much, much faster. I don't even need to speed up the video here. And it took only 15 seconds. So in this run, it was around 40 times faster than Google Sheets. The question is always, do you need the speed or not? The next plus point is you can use it offline with self-hosting. That means you don't rely on Google Sheets anymore. And since we don't need an API, we don't have any API rate limits. But you don't really need also to worry about the Google Sheets API since it has no hard size limits for an API request. But you still might be limited. But let's make a little test. Let's reset this Google Sheets document first. And now let's do a little trick. We convert this node into a sub workflow. Then we double click on this node, click add option and deactivate wait for sub workflow completion. Then we go back to Canvas. And now we click execute workflow. Like you can see, it's now much, much faster because it doesn't wait for the OK from Google Sheets that it's finished. But you, like you can see, the rate limits are not really a problem since we sent a lot of requests in a really short time and we didn't get any blocks. And like you can see, it's still getting filled out without any problems. All right, now it finished. Let's take how long it took. And now it was around 70 seconds. That means we sent around 500 requests in one minute and we didn't hit any rate limit. So I wouldn't worry too much about this when using Google Sheets. First, it's not easy to share or show data to others. It's only usable inside NLN. For example, we got our speed test here on the left. First, I can only rename or delete this database. So I cannot share it easily. Google Sheets on the other hand, I can easily share by clicking this button here and saying, for example, Anyone with this link can see this uh, Google Sheets table. I can give even people the access to comment on it or be an editor. Both you cannot do with NLN data tables. Next, it's harder to read or explore big data tables. What I mean with that is, for example, you can only show like 50 items per page. And especially when you have a lot of items, you need to go here through the pages. On Google Sheets, on the other hand, I can simply scroll here around without any problems. Also, when I look, for example, for the number 55, I have to go through all pages to find it and I don't have any option here to search. In Google Sheets, on the other hand, I can simply press Command F and look for the 55 and find it directly. 
Next, you don't have any formulas, charts or visual tools. Like you can see, you are pretty limited to the functions that you can do with this data table. In Google Sheets, on the other hand, you have many options to create tables, pivot tables. You can even add images or drawings, functions, links and so on. All this you don't have in the data table in NLN. Next, it's not ideal for manual updates. Like I mentioned already, it does not even have a search function. So for example, when you want to update the number 55, you have to look for it manually. In Google Sheets, on the other hand, you can simply edit any field that you like without any problems. Next, it's also hard to back up. If you want to back up this whole table, you need to create an own NLN workflow for it. And this makes it much harder than it should be. For here, for example, you cannot duplicate this whole database. In Google Sheets, on the other hand, I can simply click here file and make a copy of it. And I got already a backup. The next one is big. Everything is inside NNN. What seems like a big advantage at first is actually a big disadvantage because it's much harder now to switch the platform. You cannot simply use no Zapier or Make instead. And even within NNN, it's not easy because you cannot easily share the data tables across projects. In N8N, you can have here multiple projects. For example, this test project we used. Here I have data tables and in different projects I have different data tables and I cannot share a database across multiple projects. What is absolutely no problem with Google Sheets. Also what to consider is when you're using the hosted version by NLN, you lose all your data once you cancel your subscription. Google Sheets on the other hand is free and you don't have to worry that you lose your data. And last but not least it has a 50 megabyte limit per data table. What means if your data grows quickly you have to switch to the database anyway at some point. And like I mentioned before, it's hard to back up and it's also harder to switch compared to using Google Sheets. So now let's discuss when to use it and when not to use it. Now let's check when to use it and when not to use it. I would use it when the data is not important. And also when the data size stays small. Examples are state tracking, reference lists like country codes, temporary data, user preferences or app settings. But let me show you an example. This workflow here switches between two accounts. For example, the first time I executed here, the account is my account two. The second time I execute it, the account is my account one. This way in my automations, I can switch between two accounts and better balance the load between two accounts. Here we can take advantage that it's easy to set up and we don't need this data. So when this data is lost, we don't really care. Plus this kind of automation is super easy to set up because we don't need any Google Sheets. And now let's check when not to use it. I would not use it when I know that the data grows endlessly. Examples are orders, logs, or messages. I would also not use it when the data must be shared across multiple users. Like we've seen, the features are really limited right now. Also, I would not use it when I need any backups because there's no option to simply download it or duplicate this data. I would also not use it if I need real-time analytics or dashboards. For that, Google Sheets is much better. And I would also not use it when I need rational data. That means links between multiple tables. So now we can answer the question, is it a Google Sheets killer or not? The simple answer, it's not. But it has some nice use cases and increases the development speed. So when the data is not important and speed is crucial, I would always use data tables from NNN. If it's crucial data, I would stay away from it because of the downsides I mentioned. One last thing, since this is a new feature, you might not see it. If you don't see it, click here, admin panel, then you click on manage here, and then you select another version, a version that is higher than this one. So for example, the latest table, and then you click Save Changes and click Confirm. And by the way, if you want to take your automation skills to the next level, I highly recommend you to join my community. Here we take you from a beginner to an advanced user in a really short time. Here you will discover high leverage AI automation like an AI voice agent receptionist, a REC AI agent that knows all your data, or how you can easily create dashboards and use NLN for the background logic.